What's up everyone, this is CyberKnight8610, and today we have another Dragons of Legend 2 box opening for you guys. Still hoping to get all of those tune cards I'm gonna need, so uh, yeah, and also uh, Hermos and everything too, so let's see what we'll get from this. And of course, got this from StrikesOnline.com, be sure to check them out as always, link in the description. It's where I got the last one too, and it's where I pretty much get anything new that comes out for the TCG, I get it from Strike Zone. Especially if you live in Texas, definitely order from them, because it takes like a couple of days to get it, so it's awesome on that too. So let's see what we can get from this one. If I can get the box open. It's the first test, is to try to just open up the box. Alright, here we go. Last time I didn't have as good of luck on the Legendary Dragons, but I did get a few of the tune cards I needed, so... I hope we'll have some good luck with this one, too. And at least the tune cards. Oh, Ancient Gear. And we start off with Paladin of Dark Dragon. Only got one of those from last box. It's actually a pretty cool card, like I said before. Oh yeah, I'll separate the secrets and supers. How about that? And yes, this is just like, of course, Hidden Arsenal, uh, Dragons of Legend 1, all that kind of stuff too, where you're guaranteed hollows in every pack. So, you get a secret rare and then some super rare, so. Just in case people are wondering. Tomb Kingdom! Now that's a pretty good start to the open. Just second pack in. Just need one more. If I just get one more of this card. And I still need Comic Hands and uh, Mimic Hats. So, I wonder too if I should wait on the deck profile for Tomb Cyber Dragon. Tell me what you guys think on that. Although I might have everything I need by that time anyway. <laughs> I might have to wait that long on the deck profile because I know people are, are still wanting the deck profile on that. We'll see. We'll see how our luck is. Rocket Hermos Cannon, although I do plan to buy a lot of these packs anyway. You know, I don't know if I plan to get another box or what, but I'll always get more of these, like, from Walmart and other stuff, too, so. So I like these kind of Dragons of Legend sets. I wish I could buy another box of the original, but those skyrocketed. Still might try, though. We have Legendary Knight Hermos. Got, I think, two of those from the last box, so. If I can just get regular Hermos. That'd be awesome. Like, if we have another Legendary Collection, it needs to have, like, the, the Legendary Dragons on the front of it. Since we got one Thori Kalkos. Maybe they'll do that. Tamias, the Knight of Destiny. Awesome card. Got two of those on the opening where I opened up, what was it, eight packs? Dragons of Legend 2, so, yeah. I already have a play set, I guess, now. I'm glad I have a bunch of just regular Tamias, the actual dragon. Because uh, that skyrocketed too. Or, you know, it's pretty expensive. Mirror Force Dragon. Now that's one of the better cards to get two from this set. That's pretty good. That's awesome, actually. Got one of those from my 8-pack opening as well, so that gives me two of them. I still want to try to build some around the Legendary Dragon, so i got to get all of them I can. I still need a couple more of Critias, and I don't even have any of Hermos yet, so maybe that will change. I hope so. Like I said, I plan to buy a lot of these packs, so we'll eventually get what we need, I guess. Lord of the Red. That's a good card to get. I actually have a figure of Lord of the Red, too. It's like in one of the little tablet things. I don't know if anyone remember the, remembers those little tablets. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's kind of funny to see it in a card now, too. Because I was going to make a video on that, that you know, a Please Print video, which I plan to bring back that series. And I was actually going to talk about Lord of the Red, and I think it was like right before it was uh, revealed that we were getting it. So, <laughs> I'm glad I saw that before then. <laughs> Because I would have looked silly otherwise. Toon Mask. I have a few of those now. I have more in a playset. That one must be the easier Toon card to get. Secret or at least for me. I don't know. Might be someone else out there that's getting all the hard to get ones and then they can't get Toon Mask. <laughs> you never know sometimes. And Comic Can, there we go, finally. <laughs> so I have my first one now of Comic Can. Really, really good card and a terrifying card at that. It's kind of like a snatch deal, basically for tunes, and it's very powerful. So, yeah, need a couple more of those. So, <laughs> I know it's not too easy to get. And I need one more Kingdom, I guess two more Comic Can, and two more Mimic Cat, because I don't know. I at least want to try to have three of each. I don't know if I plan to use three of each in the deck. Obviously, Toon Kingdom, I will, but. We'll have to see. I still need to work on that deck list. Time Magic Hammer. Of course, it might be best to have all three at three. Still got to run some more testing. I'm testing it mainly with Toon Cyber Dragon, though, so that's why I'm kind of wondering if I should wait for that or not. I think it's supposed to be 
hopefully will be common or rare for us. Prediction Princess Tartray. We have plenty of packs to go too, so. All the Aqua Atresses and Prediction Princesses. We have Legendary Knight Airmos. A few of those. That must be the easier night to get, evidently. I think that's like my fourth one of those. There we are. All right. Have a red eyes uh, black dragon sword. Still say it's a dual runner. Come on, Hermos or Gradius. I'm happy with either one. Lord of the Red. Yes, I think that's my third one of those. I'm still happy that's printed. It's awesome. Now if we can just get those armor cards, then we can reenact the Joey and Valen fight. They should do that. Then when they do like the voice actor duels, they could have Valen versus Joey. Come on, Konami. I'm giving you some really cool ideas. Have a Legendary Knight Critius. I think that's my second one of those. So if I'm going to do the whole knight loop build or whatever, I need those. Let me see how many Tamias I have, the effect monster one. And Brain's Legend of War. I think I have a playset, but I might have to double check. I know I have the, the dragon itself. It's a playset. Toon Mask. Because I made sure to get those. Because I knew those would go up in price. Because Tamias, I opened up. You guys remember, I've opened up several packs and boxes and everything, and I don't think I ever got one from any opening. I actually traded for all the Tamias cards I have. Because <laughs> I had terrible luck getting it. Paladin of Dark Dragon. That's pretty good. Come on, Toon Kingdom. I can at least get a play set of those. That really helped me out. Have another uh, Tamias Knight of Destiny. I need to rewatch Waking the Dragons after all this. It makes me want to. I really like that season, like I said before. I think a lot of people do. Comic Hand! We got a second one! Now that's awesome! Alright, just one more, I think. Like I said, I'd like to go ahead and try to get a playset. I might just end up using two, but I don't know. I need to look at what I show on the ratios. Again, need to do more testing on that. I think the build I'm using right now uses two. So, I should probably use three. Because it is a really amazing card. It, it changes games completely. <laughs> I mean, that card can actually win you a game really easily. Have a Prediction Princess Tartray. I'm loving all the Ritual Monsters in this, too. You don't see that too often. Last couple of packs like this, we're seeing a lot of Rituals. Kind of like with uh, the Necros, who are we're out and everything, too. we got a bunch of them. Red Eye Spirit. Got to get ready for... Our red eye support, really looking forward to that. Tyrant Burst Dragon. A lot of fusions and rituals, though, in this set. I kind of hope the next set, though, that we're getting, that's going to be all hollows, like, I guess, after the High Speed Warriors, because it's the one that's announced or whatever. I think, yeah, I think that's the name of it. Uh, I'm hoping we'll get, like, a number of Hunters 2 still. Goddess Bow. Although I'm looking forward to High Speed Warriors. The Speed Roids look like a lot of fun. And of course, all of Jack's cards are awesome. <laughs> Only a couple packs left. Let's see. Hopefully we can end with another Toon Kingdom or Kratius or Hermos would be amazing. Legendary Knight. Kratius, well, <laughs> I guess I wasn't too specific. I think that gives me three of Legendary Knight Kratius now, though, so I'm okay with that. Last pack. What do we got? What are we going to end with? Come on, Mimic Cat. That's, I think, the hardest one to get, so <laughs> I know I'm going to need a few of those. And Tyrant Burst Dragon. Eh, not going to complain on that. Awesome card. So, yeah, unfortunately, no Mimic Cat from this, but I did get two of the Comic Hands, which I really needed, and one Toon Kingdom. Like I said, this won't be all I'm going to open up on this set either, so hopefully that you guys don't get sick of this set. But uh, still missing a lot of cards, so no Toon Net Profile yet. I mean, it might be a little bit of time, like I said, because, you know, i got to try to get the rest of them. So, uh, yeah, and seeing Mimic Cat, 
I think like it was at the time of this video anyway, it's like $60. I feel like I'm better off just buying a box and trying to get it honestly. And that way you guys get a video out of it too. So, or that's just how I feel on it. Probably the dumb way of going about it, but yeah, I'm cybernet. I like openings. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this opening though. As always, uh, thank you guys for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Looking forward to getting the rest of the tune cards. And like I said, I'll probably do something with the red eyes too whenever the next set's released. I'm still debating on getting the case for what I want to do on that. But I really want to build deck around it because red eyes is one of my favorite monsters. So, yep. Hope you guys are enjoying, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Knight Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Knight CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya!